Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar, and here's a brand new halacha, four units for Wednesday, the eighth day of December. Here we go. Today's halacha is about Lashon Hara. You know you're not allowed to speak evil about a fellow Jew, and today some extra details about it. Here's your classic scenario. You are talking about someone, and it's a fellow Jew, and let's say you say to um, someone you like, oh, I just want to tell you about so-and-so. He is so goofy looking. Um, and then someone stops you and says, hey, that's Lashon Hara. And you defend yourself by saying, no, it's not. It's not Lashon Hara. He is goofy looking. Um, so here's today's halacha. Uh, goofy looking was a strange example. But let's say you say he's really short. Okay. And someone says, hey, that's Lashon Hara. And you go, but it's true. He is really short. So bottom line is, yeah, it is true that he's really short, but talking about him in that way still is Lashon Hara, even if you're telling something that's true, because you know what's happening. When you call him really short, you're still saying it with disdain. You're still saying a bad thing about that fellow Jew, and therefore it still falls into the category of Lashon Hara. Yeah, it's slander when you tell lies about someone. You say that he's stupid and he's really smart. That would be slanderous also. But just to say that someone is really weird even if he is, is Lashon Hara. If he's really short, even if he is, um, if he's really heavy, even if he is, those kinds of things are Lashon Hara. I'm going to give you one that's, that will surprise you. Sometimes if I say, do you know that so-and-so just donated a thousand dollars to uh, the Hebrew Academy? Well, that could be Lashon Hara too, even if it's true and even if it's nice and all that, because it's not necessarily something that he wants you telling. When you tell everyone that he gave a thousand dollars, and let's say it was a little bit private, now other people will come asking him for money, and you've caused, it's a different form of Lashon Hara. It's like a tail-bearing kind of thing, but it's still something he doesn't want you saying. It gets him in trouble, and it has a lot of people now asking him for money. So that it's a different form of Lashon Hara, but it's still not supposed to be done. So, in summary, even if what you're saying is true, and especially if what you're saying is slanderous, and also if what you're saying is something that someone doesn't want said about him, even if it's nice and good, then all these things fall in some way or another under the category of Lashon Hara, of bad talk, and you shouldn't do it. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.